Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to create the scatter plots in Tableau. Scatter plots are one of the fundamental charts in order to understand the relationship between two continuous measures. So that means the main task of the scatter plots is to find correlations between two continuous fields. And as well, another task of the scatter plot is to find the outliners inside your data. So let's go now and create a very basic scatter plots in Tableau. And as I said, we need two measures in order to do that. So our two measures gonna be the sales and the profit. So let's get the sales to the columns and as well the profit to the rows. So with that we got our two axes and it gonna represent a two dimensional graph. So now what is missing is of course our data, the data points. So here we're gonna go with the customer ID. So let's take the customer ID and now we're gonna go and put it to the details. And here is the power of Tableau compared to any other tools where Tableau gonna go and plot all data points that we have inside our data without any restrictions. So with that we can see the correlation between the sales and the profit and as well to find the outliners. For example, those points that we have it as a standalone. All right, so with that we have created the very basic scatter plots in Tableau. All right, so next we're going to go and add more stuff to the design of the scatter plots where we're going to change the colors, the size, add circles and so on. So now we're going to go and change the size of each data point, but it's going to depend on a third measure, the count of orders. So now let's go to the orders count and drag and drop it to the size. Each customer is going to have different size and that's going to depend on how many orders did this customer's place. So this is one thing that we can add to our scatter plot. Another thing we can add coloring. So here we have different ways on how to add colorings. Either we can add a dimension or we can make a cluster. So now for example, let's go and get the dimension country and place it on the colors. And here in the data points, we can add as well different shapes in our visual. So currently we have the circle for everything. We can take the country, drag and drop it to the shapes. And now we can see in the scatter plot, not only that the countries has different colors, but they have as well different shapes. But what we usually see in the scatter plot that each data point can be represented as a filled circle. So that means we're gonna go and change the visual. Let's go to the marks over here and then change it from shapes to circles. So now as you can see, we have everything as a filled circle, but we are not there yet. Let's go and make the size a little bit bigger. And now what do we have over here? We have a lot of points and what we usually do, we go and reduce the opacity of the colors. So let's go to the colors over here and let's just reduce it. And with that, you can see very nicely, for example, those two points, there is like overlapping between them. One more thing that we can add to those circles, we can have a, like a line border for each circle. So in order to do that, we're gonna go again to the colors and here we have an effect called border. So instead of automatic, let's have something like this color of the gray. So with that, you can see we have a very nice border for each data points. All right, so those are some different options on how to customize the scatter plots.